his character in the recruiting process? When I think about character in the recruiting process, especially uh, as an assistant coach and head coach, it can be the lifeblood of whether you're going to continue at that institution as their head coach or you're going to have to find somewhere else to go because to me with character, it's one of the foundational pieces of building your culture, uh, not only on the floor, uh, but as well as off the floor. Uh, when you start to really look at and define what character is, uh, the definition is basically mental and moral qualities of an individual. For me, what I think about character is who you really are when nobody's watching. And for you guys as student athletes, uh, at some point, the work that you put in is going to be to your benefit and the work you don't put in is going to get you exposed. That to me are two of the biggest characteristics that you see uh, especially with uh, athletes today, whether it's collegiate, at the collegiate level, for you guys, even at the high school level, at the professional level. Uh, before we go on, I think it's very interesting, had two different answers for Adrian Peterson, <laughs> right? And what sticks out to me about that is neither answer was wrong, right? He made some mistakes that were not great character decisions, but you do have the opportunity to change. And he has been a model citizen since then. And the funniest thing to me is he's been picked up by two different teams. Uh, and by the way, he had a great week one uh, this past weekend. So that's just, a, that's just an example right there. Character is always being shown. And, and what I mean by character being shown is whether how you show up in class, how you show up in practice, how you show up, you know, walking up and down the hallway, your character is always going to be present. And you know what? You don't get a second chance to make a first impression when it comes to character. And what are some of the ways that you look for character? I mean, how do you determine the athlete's character? That's an important thing, but how do you know? For Parents, I hope you're listening to this as well. Coaches already know uh, a lot of it's done on and off the floor. Uh, some of it is basically for me, I'm kind of like a little bit of a private investigator in regards to recruiting. So I would ask a variety of different people uh, just so you uh, just so you student athletes understand this. One of the first people that I make contact with is the janitor. And I'll tell you the reason why, it's twofold. My dad was a custodian for four decades, right? So you get a chance to find out how people are willing to treat you when you have nothing to do with uh, their success on and off the floor. So I'm always looking to ask the, the custodian. I'm always looking to ask the athletic trainer because for some reason, Stuff is said around the athletic trainer that's not said necessarily around anybody else. Also, the strength and conditioning coach. I always, you know, talk to different administrators. In high school, love talking to the secretary, to the principal. Love talking to your teachers. Love talking to your guidance counselors. Uh, because if you really understand the financial part of college athletics today, and all of you want to get to that point, we're making six figure decisions in regards to uh, your coming to our campus and being a part of our program. So character is a very important part. Is it important to look at them, how they interact with their coaches, with their peers? How do you look at their interaction, both on and off the court? I look at their interaction in regards to not only how they interact with their coaches, uh, how they interact with the support staff. And what I mean by support staff, the managers, I think is a great way. I pay attention specifically how you interact with your parents. Um, if you're not being respectful to your parents, I know you're not going to be respectful uh, towards an assistant coach, towards a manager, towards our director of operations. Uh, and in some instances, you might end up having an issue with me. And so I'm always watching, always asking questions. This is the opportunity. We want more information 
than we can ever ask for 